Assalamu alaikum. Matrices KCSE 2017, paper 1. Swali la section 2 hili, 10 marks. Hapa 4 ala fuku chini 6. Na kwa bati mzuri ya mbaya, hizi 4 za juu, hazi kuhusiana na 6 za chini. So tuzifanya kando kando. Given that matrix A is this and matrix B is this, find the value of X for which A, B is a singular matrix. A singular matrix ya faujue ni kitu gani? Singular matrix ni matrix ambayo determinant yake is equals to zero. Lakini kabla tujafika kwa determinant, kwanza paka tuitafte hii matrix A, B. Amboe matrix A, B ya maanisha tu A times B. Haya tumalize yo. Multiply matrix A times matrix B. Na katika kumultiply, tulikuwa tunafanya vipi? Row times column. Kama umesawu kumultiply, itafta video multiplication of matrices. Kwa hivyo row times column. 3 times 1, 3. Plus x times 3, ambayo ni 3x. Kwa hivyo itakuwa vipi? Ya kwanza itakuwa 3 plus 3x. Tuweke hapo 3 plus 3x. Tuje chini. Row times column. X plus 1 times 1, bado ni X plus 1. Alafu 2 times 3 ni 6. X plus 1 plus 6, ita kuangapi X plus 7. Na mtuja upandua pili sasa, hii kolami ya huku mwisho. Row times column. 3 times 2, 6. X times 0, 0. 6 plus 0, jibu ita kuangapi 6. Na hii ya chini sasa row times column. X plus 1 times 2 itakuwa 2X plus 2. Alafu 2 times 0 ni 0. Kwa hivyo 2X plus 2 plus 0 itabaki tu 2X plus 2. So this is our matrix AB. Now we want AB to be a singular matrix. For it to be a singular matrix, the determinant needs to be 0. Na determinant wa ni vipi? Leading diagonal minus trailing diagonal. Kwa hivyo tuataka this minus this is equals to zero. Ama kwa luka nyingine, tuataka this diagonal is equals to this diagonal. Aya tufanya yo, this minus this is equals to zero. Kwa hivyo itakuwa 3 plus 3x times 2x plus 2 minus 6 into x plus 7 is equals to 0. Ama tuweza eka hivi is equals to 6x plus 7. Nam, tuifungue pole pole. 3 times 2x plus 2 itakuangapi. 3 times 2x ni 6x plus 3 times 2 ni 6. Tuendele plus 3x times 2x ni 6x squared plus 3x times 2 ni 6x. Kisha hapa tunangapi 6x ambayo kwa hiko upande hui ikirudi na kuwa minus 6x na hapa 6 times 7 ni 42. Ikiruka huku na kuwa minus 42 is equals 0. Kwa nini tuweka is equals 0 mwisho? Kwa sabu tuajua hii ina x squared itakuja kwa dratic equation. To collect like terms, kwanza hizi mbili angala sisha ondoka. 6x minus 6x ziondoe kabisa. Tutabaki na nini? 6x squared. 6x squared, alafu nyingine, x iko hapi, hii hapa, plus 6x, alafu tuna plus 6 minus 42. 6 minus 42, itakuwa minus 36, alafu mwisho is equals to 0. Kwa bati mzuri hii quadratic equation, tuweza simplify, by 6 by 6 by 6. Ikabaki x squared, plus 1x, minus 6, is equals to zero. Tuweza solve na quadratic formula, ama pia tuweza tuka solve na product sum factors. Kwa mfano product after, one times negative six, product ni negative six, na sum ni one. Kwa hivyo factors ita kwa ngapi na ngapi, two times three. Tanza x squared plus three x minus two x minus six is equals to zero. Kama umesawo product sum factor method, angalia video za quadratic equations. Nam, hapa na hapa factor ni x. x into x plus 3 minus hapa na hapa factor ni 2 
into x plus 3 is equals to 0. Kwa hivyo tukimaliza hapa itakuwa x minus 2 times x plus 3 is equals to 0. Answers takuwa mbili. x minus 2 is 0 or x plus 3 is 0. Ambaya hapa answer takuwa ngapi? x is equals to 2 or hapa ya pili x plus 0 x plus 3 0 takuwa x is equals to negative 3. So these are my two answers. x is 2 or x is negative 3. Ukitaka kwa kikisha, regesha hapa ndani, usubstitute, alafu jaribu a times b ama jaribu kusubstitute hapa value ya x. Utayona a, b is a singular matrix. Tuendele part b. Na hii ndo, part b ndo kawaida masole ya matrix ya nakuja hivi, 10 marks. Unambua mambo, bought 3 exercise books and 5 pens for a total of 165. If Mambo had bought two exercise books and four pens, he would have spent 45 shillings less, taking X to represent the price of an exercise book and Y to represent the price of a pen, form two equations. Equations enyewe hizi ni simultaneous equations. Utaanza vipi? Mambo wa three exercise books ni X. Kwa hivyo three X plus five pens. Amboe pens ule mbua ni tumeleta gani? Leta Y. Kwa hivyo plus five Y is equals to 165. Na ya pili, 2x plus 4y is equals to 45 shillings less. 165 minus 45, utapata ni 120. Kwa hivyo hizi hapa two equations angu, 3x plus 5y is 165, na 2x plus 4y is equals to 120. Waka kuambia, Use the matrix method to find the price of a book and that of a pen. Matrix inapangwa vipi equation kama hizi? Unaanza hivi. 3, 2, alafu 5, 4. Matrix hiyo. Kisha matrix ya pili waeka x, y. Kisha mwishu wa sema is equals to matrix ya huku waeka 1, 65 na 120. Hiyo ndi wame form matrix equation, bado tuku i solve. How do you solve this kind of an equation? Na kwa nini tuka ipanga hivi? Kwa sababu wa rows times columns. 3x plus 5y is equals to 165. Na chini row times column ni 2x plus 4y is equals to 120. Na mtukamilishe sasa. To solve this equation, muhimu ni tutu isafishe hii matrix. Kama umesa hao ya fanywa vipi? Angalia simultaneous equations matrix method. Safisha hii kwa kutumia inverse. Weka inverse huku, weka inverse huku. Upande wa huku, inverse itaisafisha yote, tutabakituna x and y. Lakini kwa sabu huku, tume pre-multiply inverse, lazima hapa pia, to pre-multiply inverse. Kwa hivu taika nini? Formula inverse ni 1 over determinant times the adjoint. Alafu mwisho ndo tueka hii hapa. 165 na 120. Nam, adjoint watumia vipi? Matrix ya kubadilisha. You switch the digits in the leading diagonal. 3 na 4 wabadilisha vipi? 4 weka hapa, 3 weka hapa. Na hizi 5 na 2 haubadilishi, lakini wabadilisha signs. Weka negative 5, na badilia 2 weka negative 2. Determinant ni ngapi? 12 minus 10. Ama hapa pia zachukua. 12 minus 10, determinant ni 2. Sasa tukamilisha kumultiply hii matrix. Row times column. Utaanza vipi hapa? 4 times 165 minus 5 times 120. Kwa hivyo 4 times 165 minus 5 times 120. Utapata 60. Kwa hivyo hapa tuweke a half. Kisha huku unje tunangapi? 60. Na hiya chini. Row times column. Negative 2 times 165. Negative 2 times 165. Alafu plus 3 times 120. Jibu litakuja 30. Kwa hivyo, haya ndo majibu wetu mawili. X, Y is equals to a half times 60 na a half times 30. A half times 60, utapata X is equals to 30 shillings. Na hii hapa Y is equals to a half times 30. Kwa hivyo, Y is equals to 15 shillings. Na kumbuka hizi zilikuwa nini? X ilikuwa exercise book na Y ilikuwa pen. So sasa tushazijua bay. 
tukamilisha hizi two marks za mwisho hizi mara nyingi ni marks za bure tu amekuambia nini a teacher of a class of 36 students bought two exercise books and one pen kwa hivyo two exercise books and one pen two x and one y lakini hao walikuwa students wangapi wote walikuwa 36 students Calculate the total amount of money the teacher paid. 2x itakuwa ngapi? X ilikuwa 30. Kwa hivyo 2 times 30 plus 1 times y. Y ilikuwa ngapi? 15. Kwa hivyo plus 15. Alafu hii yote sasa. 2 times 30 plus 15. Hii yote tutamultiply by ngapi? Tutamultiply by 36. 2 times 30 ni 60. 60 plus 15 ni 75. Kamilisha mwisho, 36 times 75, utapata 2,700 shillings. Kwa hivyo is equals to 2,700 shillingi za Kenya. 2,700 shillings, imekamilika 10 marks. Regelea pole pole kwanze ya juu. Tafuta blank page kama hii, KCSE 2017, paper 1. Alafu kaijaribu. Asante.